Hey guys, I was asked to recreate this look that's at the left and to also add mini shelves to the design. And so I went ahead and I added decorative containers for other essentials at the bottom. I'm starting the project with an empty old container and I'm gonna split it into two. Now that I have this, I'm gonna cut it again so that I can have four pieces. I use the regular toilet paper as my guide to make sure that it's a perfect fit before I continue. And now I'm gonna be gluing the pieces together using the hot glue gun. The pieces that will go on the sides will be glued at an angle and I'm using something at the back to support it. I'm going to be using a foam board and then taking the design and placing it on top of the foam board and tracing it out. I drew the design too close to the bottom, so I ended up pushing it up just a bit. And then I made a second design at the top. Now the mistake that I did was to make the second design at the top too close to the one at the bottom, so I carved out the one at the bottom and the one at the top. See, I couldn't even have a straight line for it. So I had to use a regular trifle board because I had already used all of my foam boards for another project. The next thing that I did was to glue the design to the carved board. I glue the trifle board to the back. Now for the bottom, I'm going to be covering it up with photo plaques and I'm going to cut them into two. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. Now these are the pieces and I cut a small one to complete the length. I glued all the pieces together using a strong adhesive and a hot glue gun so that it stays together while I continue with the project. By the sides, I cut long strips of foam board to cover it up. To give it a much better hold, I'm going to be using a 6000 glue inside. With my X-Acto knife, I made three holes to where I intend to hang the other essentials. I placed it inside the design to see how it fits, and then I glued them both together using a strong adhesive. I used an E6000 glue and I left it overnight to dry. I cut little pieces of foam board to cover the sides and the top. Now that this is complete, I wasn't comfortable with the way this glue kept showing here, so I removed it. This is a wallpaper and I'm going to be using it for the design. I forgot to mention that I spray painted the bottom part gold. For the inside, I'm going to be giving it two coats of white acrylic paint. After placing the toilet paper there, you can see that there's space at the back and I don't like the rough edges. So I'm going to be covering that up with diamond wrap. As long as you've got toilet paper in there, it's not going to be seen, but I just feel a lot better if I cover it up. All other edges that I have on the design are going to be covered with diamond wrap also, but these other edges are going to be covered with singular strip from the diamond wrap. This is what it looks like, and as you can see, the toilet paper rolls sit comfortably on the design. I'm using Christmas ornaments and taking off the upper part with an X-Acto knife. I took my terrarium planter and I'm going to be gluing the part that I need at the bottom. I got another Christmas ornament that I have at home and I'm going to cut off the parts that I need to decorate the terrarium planter.
decorating the planter is optional but then I'm just trying to decorate it to give it a more foreign look to keep it interesting I made a mirror design with this and it's gonna be for my next video but for now I just had to decorate this because I really love the way it looks and you can put in cotton balls inside along with other essentials another alternative to keep it simple will be to use ordinary glass jars I'm using cup hooks to hang the decorated terrarium planters. The overall design can be mounted on a wall with hooks or command strips. I have a lot of these at home and it takes a lot of weight which is better because once in a while you might want to switch up whatever it is that you have on top of the shelves. Like I said earlier, this is another alternative. I just screwed on the glass lids to the bottom of the design. This is an inexpensive storage solution that I made using items that I already have at home. Inspired by a picture that was sent to me. The shelves I added was because of the request. And then I decided later to just add more storage options at the bottom. Let me know what you guys think about this idea in the comment section below. And remember to like and share this video. Thank you so much for watching. I have other videos linked in the description box below. Do check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.